Hello and welcome to Quick Tips 2. Today I'm going to unbox, set up and show you how to use the Vieton Pulse Oximeter with Bluetooth. This video should give you some guidance into your buying decision. Inside the box there is the user manual, a quick guide, a warranty card with the support contact details, a small bag for your oximeter, a strap, the oximeter and two batteries. Now let me show you how it works. First, to insert the batteries, remove the back cover of the oximeter and put the batteries in. Before starting a reading, it is important to note that as per the manufacturer guide, no responsibility is assumed by them or us for the use of the oximeter and always consult your doctor for any medical advice. Now, to start a reading, open the clip and insert your finger inside the rubber cushion as illustrated. The oximeter will power on automatically and start to measure your pulse rate and your oxygen saturation levels. It can take a few seconds for the oximeter to take a reading. The oximeter will display your oxygen level above where it says SpO2 and it will display your pulse rate above PR. Once your finger is out, the oximeter will shut down automatically. While your finger is out, a short press on the wheel icon will display the history of your measurements. The newest record is marked as M1 and the oldest record is marked as M12. The new record will override the previous one. While your finger is in, a short press on the wheel icon will change the display direction as illustrated. There are four displays you can choose from depending on the position of the person reading it. While your finger is in, a long press on the wheel icon will display the settings menu. Here you can switch between having the oxygen level alarm low, the pulse rate alarm high, the pulse rate alarm low, you can change the mode and you can adjust the beep. Always consult your doctor before changing any of these settings. You can also connect your oximeter to your phone. This will allow you to see your live stats and the history of your readings on the app. To do this, download and install the Via Health app on your phone. So go to Play Store or App Store and type Via Health in the search box. Then tap Install. It will take a few seconds for the app to be installed. Once installed, open the app. Now tap I agree. Then OK. Now allow the app to access your device's location. You will also need to allow the app to access your media files. Then enable Bluetooth. Then allow. Now insert your finger into the oximeter to turn it on. Your oximeter will be discovered. Now tap on it, then select it. You can now see your live readings. You can also see the history of your readings. This should cover most of the things that you can do with the oximeter. If you have any questions about this product, please leave a comment below this video. With Quick Tips 2, Knowledge has no limits.